Ron DeSantis's chronically awkward facial expressions throughout the entire debate was something that a lot of people noticed. Anyone watching that debate couldn't help but notice it. And now it turns out that we know that Republicans also noticed it and were clowning on DeSantis because of this hot mic moment. Now, during Megyn Kelly's post debate show, her co host was caught on this hot mic, basically describing Ron DeSantis in a pretty hilarious and accurate way. Let's watch. We have a little clip of some of the, the opening questions to them. Let's watch. We begin with the question of electability. Governor DeSantis. Your campaign and its super PAC have spent the most money, had the most high net worth donors, and had a wave of momentum coming into this race after your big re-election win in Florida. You were seen by many as the candidate most likely to consolidate the non-Trump field. Look, DeSantis really was twitching a lot and like he was grinding his teeth. Yeah, throughout. Like the everyone knows about the stimulants, but you're supposed to like try to hide it. <laughs> yeah. Look, I don't know for sure what was going on there, but it's strange that he was grinding his teeth like that. Look, I, I don't know people's personal habits, and and I don't know how Adderall works or stimulants or whatever. Um, but it was just for whatever reason he's doing it. All everything he does is weird, and so for the grinding of the teeth like, throughout the debate, you're like, what is he doing? And then that face, it's it like hot mic. Are we supposed to blame the people who said that he looked like he shot his dog because? That is how he looked. Yeah, he, and we is. all thought it. it but is. to me, the strangest thing he did was, most people when they're in a debate, they touch the podium, they lean on the podium, they're close to the podium. He stood away from the podium like this, like, like a mannequin robot weirdo, and and he almost never touched the podium. And he's like a distance away. It looked so weird and awkward. And his hands are always like this. And he's like, and then every once in a while, when he does the smile, he goes, and you're like, Jesus. Oh my God. So this guy's Would you gonna make be that Trump. Face? It kills no. Me. Yeah. no. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so who was that? Um, you heard Megyn Kelly say something, but the real offender wasn't Megyn Kelly. It was, we don't know for sure, but there are speculations that it was um, the News Nation politics editor, Chris Steyerwalt. Um, now, before the debate took place, he and uh, uh, he had other comments about Ron DeSantis and his inability to smile normally. Um, so he is on the record talking about how awkward Ron DeSantis is. So here's an example. We see that the rictus smile, the, mm -hmm. the seasick smile, that Ron DeSantis, <laughs> uh, the, that he favors, where he just he looks, it, it looks like somebody just stepped on his toes, oh. and so he's been trying to be likable and affable, and he's trying to steer away in there. You know, I, I actually want to thank Ron DeSantis because this might be the first time I've experienced an electoral process where a male candidate is under pressure to be likable. And mm. to have a better smile, <laughs> right? So I, I, I think we've made that, some right? progress, ladies and gentlemen. We've made some progress. We're making progress. <laughs> no, but look, I. Oh, I, I got, thought I've, of one. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Dick Cheney. Really? Yeah. Even mainstream media, after a while, they're like, "Well, he does come across as a little unlikable." I mean, <laughs> like after yeah. the, he started the war and hundreds of thousands of people died and the torture. He shot a friend in the face. And yeah, by the time he shot a friend <laughs> like, in the face. And by the way, my favorite part of the story is he then made the friend apologize to him. Oh my God. That's such a Cheney move, okay. And then finally near the end of the second term, mainstream media is like, does appear to be a little unlikable, okay. You know what his uh, approval rating was when they left office? 9%. Wow. Wow. So. We have exhibit A and B to further provide evidence of how correct, if it was in fact Chris Steyerwalt, how correct Chris Steyerwalt was in that hot mic moment. I give you exhibit A, all right, He's, he is super awkward. And then there's also exhibit B, two for here. I, look, there's part of me that feels bad because even though I disagree with his policies, it does suck when your face is so distracting that no one's even listening to what you're saying. They're too distracted by your face. <laughs> yeah. So look, guys. On the one hand, I say Ben Mankiewicz had a great line about this. You know, pictures worth a thousand words, mm -hmm. and he said all the time back when we used to host together, he's like, "No, it's not. Pictures aren't worth anything. They lie." 
all the time because you can take a picture from this angle or that angle and it makes you look completely different, right? Mm -hmm. So on the one hand, I have sympathy for these guys who are in the spotlight and I have 100 terrible pictures of me have been taken, etc. I get it, right? Not me, my, my pictures well, are Well, there's a little bit of a difference. <laughs> there might I'm be kidding. a reason why. No, 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 I'm kidding. There are bad pictures of me out there, trust me. Okay, um, but at the same time, it's not just the pictures, guys. We all see it, we all have eyes, we watch the whole debate. We watch four debates now. Mm -hmm. We've seen this guy in public a lot and he is enormously awkward. They're not making it up, we can all, we have eyes and ears. So when he, and he in those pictures, he both looks super awkward and like Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine. You know, if you bring it back oh my up, God. from back, come on, right? I mean, that, the one on the left looks like the exact cover of the Mad Magazine I used to buy, okay? So Adam from the Sitch and Adam show told me he looks like Homelander and once you see it, you can't unsee it. Mm -hmm. And it's true, do you know who Homelander is? From that show, I think it's called The Boys, but the boys yeah. Oh, I watched okay. the first season and then it just kind of fell off for me, but he looks like Homelander. Yeah, but anyway, the bottom <laughs> line here, guys, there is actually a serious point here, which is that like it's funny to go, ha ha, he looks weird, right? And he acts weird. Okay, but that's the reason why we're pointing it out is because it's fun. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> also, oh, that's also true. It's because he's inauthentic. That's why he's making those faces because he doesn't know. Like, no, I disagree with that take entirely. Oh wow, interesting. I don't know. I I think that. His fidgeting and his awkward facial expressions, it actually happens to be super authentic. He's uncomfortable and he doesn't know how to hide it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I see, I, I see the twist that you're doing on yeah. it. But so look, they're He's all- He's trying to control it and the more he tries to control it, the more he malfunctions. I hear you and they malfunction in different ways and they're robotic in different ways. They're all actors, they trained, right? That when they asked Ronald Reagan, hey, can you, did you use any of your acting abilities in politics? He said, politics is all acting. Right, it's I'm paraphrasing there, but you look up the exact quote, and it, there's a lot of truth to that. Now, Chris Christie's a good actor. He leans into the podium and he looks like, oh shucks, you know. And I tell you what, I, I, why don't you just answer the question, man? Yeah, he's he's right? very comfortable on he's that stage. He's very comfortable, right? Nikki Haley looks like she's in command. Vivek is. So inauthentic, it's so obvious. He's memorized all these things, you know, he's an Ivy League educated guy and he's got it all in his head. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna mention that conspiracy theory and that conspiracy theory. And I know which slice of the demographic is then going to support me within the right wing movement, right? And so he's like, and I'll tell you what, I gotta be honest with you. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, tone it down. You're such a B-rate actor, right? And and then and then the Robotron or whatever we're calling. <laughs> DeSantis, uh, DeSantis. Now he's got the sanctimonies in my head. Okay, DeSantis, and he's like mm -hmm, malfunctioning, awkward, uncomfortable. Must act nice. I am not nice. Must act nice. Don't we, know how to do it. Can we actually yeah. get to the next video? Because <laughs> there was also this whole narrative about how in previous debates he couldn't stop sticking his tongue out. I didn't really want to cover that story because I wasn't buying it. But I don't know, let's watch the video and I'm, I'm curious what you think. We are not gonna stand for this on college campuses any longer. All right, Governor, thank you. And we've acted swiftly and decisively. Senator Scott, you've been in the Congress since 2011. That allowed Chinese nationals to buy land within a 20 mile radius of a military base lobbied for by one of your donors. So I think we have to call a spade a spade. We've Last stood up week. and we've done the right thing in Florida. Mr. Begging for oil from them. Just to be clear, that's it just out. the fact. All right, Governor DeSantis, thank you. <laughs> okay, 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 I stand corrected, I stand corrected. Okay, but seriously guys though, I do feel bad about that one. Cuz that's just a tick he has, that's not even a malfunctioning the robot. The tick is his upper lip is sweating and you can yeah. see it, it's it's glistening. And yeah, if yeah. You trust me, you put any of you guys up there uh, on a stage like that for like an hour and a half, and you're it. gonna have some tick, right? And people are gonna notice it. And so, okay, this one, what am I gonna do with her? What am I gonna do with her? Okay. I revel in it. Yeah. <laughs> Like sometimes I do weird things like I, I catch myself doing this. Oh, You do that all the time. All the time, right? You do that all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my tick. So that's why on that one, I'm like, ah, it looks funny, it looks hilarious, but ah, let him go on that one. It's the ones that are where he's like, <laughs> <laughs> that I'm like, brother, just say it. Whatever you're actually mean, say it instead of acting. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us, become a young Turk.